Blessings and good morning, friends. I'm so excited. I'm going to my local gem fair. Whenever I go into public, I like to set the intention for my clothes and the jewelry that I wear. So this is what I'm wearing today. And I wanted to feel like a witch foraging through the forest, almost like I had a cape on or something. I have all of my talisman jewelry pieces on because we're going out into public and there's gonna be lots of energy around. So we want those nice, strong, energetic boundaries. Um crystals and this bag full of crystals and some beautiful shells and coral as well. I am back and ready to show you what I picked up. Firstly, I want to say I didn't actually go to the gem fair this year with the sole intention of buying crystals for me. I'm actually starting to create some ceremonial and like devotional jewelry pieces. So like necklaces and really beautiful big earrings. Um, which you'll see more and more unfold as I create them. So a lot of these things that I purchased are for that. The jewelry that I want to make is to help people connect with um, the energies of spirit, the energies of the earth, and they will be made for some of them to connect with certain deities, goddesses, gods, and all those sorts of beautiful things featuring natural elements, wood, stones, crystals, bones, antlers, um, you name it, <laughs> and I'm getting to create it. So um, the first thing I want to show you is the most beautiful thing and the most expensive. So I thought I'd get the most expensive out of the way. It is this vial of opals. And um, because I am in Australia, boulder opals are fossic tier. And they're just so incredibly stunning. Um, and I can't wait to work with those in jewelry, but also I felt really called with the opals to work with the spirit dolls. Um, I can just see like a CR doll coming forward with an opal as her eye. Um, so definitely go make sure you keep an eye out for the opal spirit dolls that I'd say will be stirring soon. Secondly, I have this packet of shells. <laughs> I know it's so crazy, but there was this beautiful, look at this one here. Uh, there's so many gorgeous, they were just found empty on the beach up in Cairns by a beautiful lady and they were a dollar for this entire bag of beautiful shells. Um, and what I thought was so beautiful was I bought that and I also bought a bag of coral and I'll show you some of the coral pieces. I can just so imagine something like this on the necklace with like all the crystals um, and you know beading coming out from it um, and because the Great Barrier Reef is off the coast up in North Queensland 
um, these pieces of old coral wash up on the shore all the time so it's really easy to collect them. I love the idea of giving life to something and honoring it, you know, honoring the sea and this beautiful coral um, plant spirit. So these were both for the two bags, a dollar each. And I think I had like $4 because I was like, I want to give her like a $5 note and I had no $5 notes left. So I gave her $4 and she's like, oh my God, oh my God, please here, grab a, grab a piece of coral. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. She's like, please. And she's coming over and she's like giving me a hug. And oh, this beautiful, lovely old lady. So the next thing I want to show you are these beautiful smoky uh, quartz points from Boone's Crystals. So Michael and his beautiful wife Felicity uh, own a shop in my local hometown and they have an amazing TikTok. One of their videos has like nearly a million views um, and they open geo. So go and check them out on like Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. But I got these beautiful smoky quartz points. And I just sort of thought they would be beautiful um, in the jewelry pieces, in the necklaces, and even I could see them, you know, in an earring kind of thing, um, because I plan on making the earrings to be like really like long and dangling with like feathers and um, like lots of different layers of crystals and all those sorts of things. So yeah, I kind of thought that these would be perfect. And I am going to go into the actual shop and maybe uh, do a video in the shop doing a bit of a haul, but... Um, actually filming like as I'm picking up each item because whenever I've done a haul video I've kind of like filmed it once I get home and Michael is so awesome and will let me like film in the shop and show you guys everything so uh, yeah that might be coming soon too because I definitely do need to go and buy some more crystals and supplies for the jewelry making. These smoky quartz points were literally like 90 cents each like they're so cheap and affordable. So the next pieces are from the Bundaberg Lapidary Club. So it's filled with all the members that go out fossil king all around Australia. Um, and I wanted to show you the biggest pieces from there first. So um, I have this piece of agate and it's, I can't say, is it like dendric or I can't really say it. Um, and I can't be bothered to look it up to be honest, but it's so beautiful. And my intention is to kind of put like it as one of the features of one of my jewelry pieces. So it's a big, beautiful piece. I literally think that this was $2. <laughs> so insanely um, affordable. And then I've also got a big slice of chevron amethyst. So I do plan on, again, making that a nice big jewelry piece. And I was so lucky because I have these slices of rhodonite and they are half polished. So there's some really big pieces and these also will be big uh, necklace statement pieces with all of the extra things coming from them. Um, and these were each $2. So how crazy is that? Um, yeah, two bucks for this beautiful, almost looks like a, a cabochon, so you can see it's sliced on one side and then polished on the other. So I also have lots of petrified wood, so I'll show you uh, my little collection. These all would have been roughly about 50 cents each. So I love that with the petrified wood, you can see like the rings of the old tree. Um, such a beautiful thing to have, I feel, in a necklace or I might even because they're quite light have some in some earrings as well and I've been slowly investing in like my diamond drill bit with my Dremel so I can actually create holes through the crystals I'm not like wire wrapping them or anything like that they're going to be like just there in all their glory <laughs> I have lots of little ones so let me just see if I can do all of this without them falling these were all about I think about 30 cents 40 cents something like that there's beautiful pieces of jasper there's this really nice chunky bit of uh, smoky quartz that's tumbled and everything which is so lovely another really big piece of jasper it's like a big tooth it's gorgeous um, agate and uh, there's some um, fossilized wood I've also got oops, these little pieces they would have been like six for a dollar or something like that 
this is one of my favorite pieces. It's got such cool coloration. And I can just, when I look at each one of these little things, see the jewelry pieces um, coming to life and um, thinking about, you know, what energies I want to weave together um, so you can like wear it as a talisman. So it's been really cool uh, looking at all these pieces and seeing it all drop in and come together. These ones, again, will probably like 20 cents each or something like that. There's some really cool shapes. And I love these ones as well. So they kind of remind me of like almost like wooden bone, but they're they're petrified wood. Um, some of them are jasper. And with the odd shapes and things like that, like I can imagine a piece of wire kind of wrapping around the center and it being like a sort of like this and then a little bit of a chain and then like a feather or like this and then another pointed crystal. So just breaking it up so it's all like hanging together. And even like this little flat piece here, either hanging down and it looks sort of like a tooth um, or like a hanger. So having things hanging off this piece of Jasper. Um, I just, yeah, it's really cool. This one even has a hole in it. Um, to begin with, it's a piece of agate. So yeah, lots of little unusual goodies. The last thing that I want to show you is in this little bag here, and these are the beautiful cabochons that are all polished and cut and beautiful. And these were all obviously a little bit more expensive, but pretty affordable um, in my eyes. And these all will be used for jewelry making. So the first is these gorgeous labradorite cabochons little oval one it was four dollars i have another one that kind of looks like a tooth or a claw um the some of them are beautiful they've got like a purple blue and gold green sheen in the labradorite so they're really really good quality um and then i have kind of like this overly um like an oval rectangle kind of shape cabochon so all of the labradorites were four dollars I have two moonstone little cabochons that are oval. I have this bigger rose quartz cabochon. There's this carnelian. This was $4 and it's quite large. I have this tiger's eye cabochon. It was $5 as well. Tiger's eye is one of my favorite um, uh, crystals that I use personally so I might even make it something for myself out of that one so I'd say out of everything that I got my favorite thing for sure was the opals and if you made it through to the end I'll tell you I spent $20 on this vial of opals so there's 29 which means each opal is like less than a dollar um, which may seem like a lot but you could buy um, you could go and buy they have like these big um, like pans of water filled with all these opals that you can go through and pick your own and they were about $2 each. And that was multiple people who were selling, like multiple stores selling opal. So this is actually quite a good price. Um, um, yeah, $20 for these. And like I said, I cannot wait to weave them into the jewelry pieces um, and into the spirit dolls as well. So um, yeah, if you feel drawn to opal, definitely keep an eye out for my creations. And I also want to let you know that I will be opening up sort of um, custom listings for dolls. There is one on my website already. So keep an eye out for my website for all my custom listings. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's video. It's a lot shorter than uh, in 2019's gem haul. And I want to do this as a yearly video because it's so much fun. So anyway, with all that said and done, hope you have a beautiful day. And I will see you um, in next week's video. Bye, my love.